Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. So I've made something a little different this time to help you archaeologists out there with finding the new material caches. So in this video it contains every single location of those material caches so you can never run short. Now the timestamps for this video will be listed in the description to help you find the material cache you are looking for. So without further ado, let's get on with it shall we? Okay, so here is a list of some useful items to help you get around to those certain caches. So we have the archaeologist outfit, Jack and Medallion, a fairy ring, a wicked hood, Zaros shard to get into the god wars without being attacked, wars retreat portals, you only need one boss kill to attune, ring of dueling or a game's necklace, slayer cape, grace of the elves, porters, a soil box or an auto screener, portable bank box, water fiend familiar, archaeology journal and arc teleports. Third Age Iron. Now this material requires level 5 archaeology and is located in the archaeology guild excavation site, east of the entrance to the empty throne room. There are three caches of this near each other. This material can be excavated at level 5 arc and can be found in two locations. One is at the Kadrid excavation site and the other is at the empty throne room. At the Kadrid excavation site there are two caches and at the empty throne room there are three caches. This material can be excavated at level 14 arc and can be found in two locations. One is at the Carried Barracks excavation site and the other is at the Empty Throne Room North excavation site. Now there are four caches at this Empty Throne Room and two at the Carried Barracks excavation site. However, you do need to complete the Breaking Seal Mystery in order to use a location at the Barracks site. This material can be excavated at level 12 arc and can be found at two locations. One is at the Carried East Excavation Site and the other is at the Carried Exterior Excavation Site. However, the Carried East Excavation Site requires some form of protection as it's located as part of the desert. On the other hand, if you have completed the Crocodile Tears, you will have immunity from the desert heat. This material can be excavated at level 17 arc and can be found west of Edgeville at the Ice Mountain besides the Lone White Tree. There are three caches at this location. This material can be excavated at level 20 arc and can be found at the Camadozal Cavern excavation site. Now there are four separate caches that reside just west of the Sacred Forge in the Camadozal below Ice Mountain. This material can be excavated at level 20 arc and can be found at the Anacaronian North excavation site in the northern Anacaronia. Now there are four of these caches at this location. This material can be excavated at level 24 arc and it can be found in the first excavation site below the wizard's tower. The entrance can be found to the east of the tower in the old tower shrine room. There are three material caches of vellum here. To access this tower, partial completion of the rune memories quest is required. This material can be excavated at level 24 arc and can be found in three locations. So the first location is at the first excavation site below the wizard's tower. There are three caches in that location, however it does require the completion of the rune memories quest. The other location it can be found at is Infernal Source, Star Lodge Cellar excavation site. There are two caches right there. The final location is at Infernal Source, the Gone Overlook Southwest excavation site. Two caches can be found here, however this location does require the completion of the Embrace the Chaos Mystery. This material can be excavated at level 25 arc and can be found in two locations. The first location is at the Slayer Tower excavation site. You can find four caches here. The second location is at the Cadrid et Calarium excavation site. You can find two caches here. However, it does require the completion of the Breaking the Seal mystery. This material can be excavated at level 25 arc and can be found in two locations. The first location is at the Empty Throne Room South Excavation Site. You can find four caches here. The second location is at the Carried Barracks Excavation Site, which requires the completion of the Breaking Seal Mystery. Here you can find two caches.
This material can be excavated at level 29 arc and can be found at the Mauritania North excavation site on the south wall of the Slayer Tower. There are three caches here. This material can be farmed at level 29 arc and be found in two locations. The first location is at Damonheim Southwest Excavation Site. There are three caches at this location. The second location is at Infernal Source Vestibule of Futility South Excavation Site. There are two caches in that location. This material can be excavated at level 29 arc and can be found in two locations. The first location is at the God Wars Dungeon Zamorak's Fortress East Excavation Site which requires completion of the Troll Stronghold quest, as well as either 60 Agility or 60 Strength and 70 Constitution. There are four caches at this location. Now the other location is at the Infernal Source the Harrowing Northeast Excavation Site. Three caches can be found at this spot. This material can be excavated at level 36 arc and can be found in two locations. The first location is in the Damonheim Southwest Excavation Site. Three caches can be found here. The other location is at the Infernal Source Dungeon of Disorder Excavation Site. Two caches can be found at this spot. This material can be excavated at level 36 and can be found in four locations. It can be found at the God Wars Dungeon, the Zamorax Fortress, North Excavation Site, which requires the completion of the Troll Stronghold quest, as well as the either 60 Agility or 60 Strength and 70 Constitution. There are five caches at this location. The other location is at the Infernal Source, Dagon Overlook North Excavation Site. One cache can be found here. Another location is at the Infernal Source, Dungeons of Disorder Excavation Site. There are two caches here. And finally, the last location is at the Infernal Source, Vestibule of Futility, Northeast Excavation Site. There are two caches in this spot. This material can be excavated at level 42 arc and can be found in three locations. It can be found at the Everlight Mass Grave Excavation Site. There are three caches here. It can also be found at the Everlight Okio Excavation Site. There are two caches there. And finally, it can be found at God Wars Dungeon Sarodomin Southeast Excavation Site, which requires the completion of the Troll Stronghold quest, as well as either 60 Agility or 60 Strength. There are three caches at this location. This material can be excavated at level 42 arc and can be found in four locations. It can be found at the Everlight Aqualopis Excavation Site. There are two caches located here. Another location is in the first excavation site below the Wizard's Tower. The entrance can be found to the east of the tower in the Old Tower Shrine Room. There are three here. However, it does require the completion of the Rune Memories quest. The other spot is at the Everlight Dominion Games Stadium Excavation Site. In this spot, there are two caches. And finally, in Entrana, there is one white marble cache spot located here. Remember to bank anything with combat stats before coming to the port ship area, or they will not let you in. This material can be excavated at level 48 arc and can be found at two locations. The first location is at the Everlight Amphitheater Excavation Site. There are two caches in this spot and the other location is at the God Wars Dungeon Sarodome in Southeast Excavation Site. However, Troll Stronghold Quest needs to be completed, as well as either 60 Strength or 60 Agility. This material can be excavated at level 51 arc and can be found at two locations. The first location is at the Barrows Mound Excavation Site. There are three caches located here. The other location is at the Everlight Dominion Games Stadium Excavation Site. There are two caches in this spot. This material can be excavated at level 51 arc and can be found at two locations. The first one at the Barrows Mound Excavation Site, which has three caches. The other location is at the Everlight Acrolopis Excavation Site and that has two caches in that spot. This material can be excavated at level 58 arc and can be found at two locations. The first location is at the Carried Chapel Excavation Site, which requires breaking the seal mystery to be completed to access this location. There are two caches here. The other location is at the Slayer Tower Excavation Site, which has three caches at this spot. 
This material can be excavated at level 70 arc and can be found at two locations. The first location is at the God Wars Dungeon, Armadil Southwest Excavation Site, which has four cache spots. However, Troll Stronghold Quest needs to be completed, as well as either 60 Strength or 60 Agility to access this location. The other location is at the Stormguard Citadel Research and Development Southwest Excavation Site. There are three caches in this location, and it does require Wingsuit Version 1 to access. This material can be excavated at level 70 arc and can be found at three locations. The first location is at the God Wars Dungeon Armadil Southwest Excavation Site, which has four cache spots. However, Troll Stronghold Quest needs to be completed as well as either 60 Strength or 60 Agility to access this location. The other two locations are located in the Stormguard Citadel, one is at the Night Guard Tower and the other is at the Day Guard Tower. There are three caches in total located at these spots, however they do require the upgraded Wingsuit version 2 or Wingsuit version 3 to access. This material can be excavated at level 76 arc and it can be found directly north of the Ugalog Lodestone at the Feldith excavation site. There are four caches in this spot. This material can be excavated at level 76 arc and it can be found at three locations. The two spots are in the Stormguard Citadel at the Kessik Memorial Excavation Site. There are two caches at this location and the other spot is in the Stormguard Citadel at the Relay Station Excavation Site. There are three caches here. Now it can also be found in the Apurian Citadel Excavation Site. There are three caches here. However, it does require completion of the missing presumed death quest to access this location. This material can be excavated at level 76 arc and it can be found at three locations. There are two caches in the Warforge Crucible Arena excavation site and two more caches in the Warforge North Goblin Tunnels. The other location is at the God Wars Dungeon Bandos Stronghold excavation site. However, to access this location, you need to complete the Troll Stronghold quest and have 70 strength. This material can be excavated at level 76 arc. It can be found in two locations. There are two caches in the Warforge North Goblin Tunnels and three caches in the God Wars Dungeon Bandos West Excavation Site. However, the location in the God Wars Dungeon requires completion of the Troll Stronghold quest plus either 60 Strength or 60 Agility. This material can be excavated at level 76 arc and it can be found at two locations. There are three caches at the Feldic Shores excavation site and four caches at the Warforge South Goblin Tunnels excavation site. This material can be excavated at level 70 arc. It can be found at four locations. The first location is at the Warforge Crucible Arena Excavation Site. There are two caches located here. The other location is at the Warforge North Goblin Tunnels. There are two caches at this spot. Another location is at the God Wars Dungeon Bandos North Excavation Site. There are three caches here and to the west of it is the Bandos Stronghold Excavation Site which has four caches in this spot. However, to get to these locations you need to complete the Troll Stronghold quest and have 70 strength. This material can be excavated at level 81 arc and can be found at two locations. The first location is at the Ancient Cavern Excavation Site and there are three caches. However, to access this location, you need to complete the Barbarian Fire Making, which requires 35 Fire Making. And the other location is at the Arch Old Man. There are three caches at this spot. This material can be excavated at level 83 arc. It can also be found at two locations. The first location is at the Field Dip Shores excavation site. There are four caches here. And the other location is at the Warforge Animal Pens excavation site. There are two caches at this spot. This material can be excavated at level 85 arc and it can also be found at three locations. The first location is at the Imperian Citadel excavation site. There are three caches located here. However, it does require the completion of missing presumed death. The other location is at the Stormguard Citadel Research and Development Northeast Excavation Site. 
There are two caches here that also require the wingsuit version to upgrade. And the other two caches are located at the Storm Guard Citadel Research and Development Northwest Excavation Site, which also require the wingsuit version 1 upgrade. This material can be excavated at level 91 arc, and it can be found at three locations. The first location is at the Imperium Citadel Excavation Site. There are three caches here that require the completion of Missing Presumed Death Quest. The other location is at the Stormguard Citadel Hal's Workshop Excavation Site. There are three caches located there. It also requires a Wingsuit Version 3 upgrade. And the other two caches are at the Stormguard Citadel Research and Development Northeast Excavation Site, which also require the Wingsuit Version 2 upgrade. This material can be excavated at level 98 arc, and it can be found at Waco's excavation site. There are four caches here, however, to access this area, you need to complete the Impressing the Locals quest. And that is the end of my video. Thank you all so much for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to comment below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe, ring the notification bell, and join my Discord server. Peace out.